hello guys so today i wanted to share some easy but very flavorful recipes that you can use for thanksgiving you can use for christmas really for any event or any gathering you have okay so these recipes are extremely flavorful when i say flavorful i mean flavorful when you try them you are absolutely going to be amazed and your guests they will be even more amazed okay so stick around it's going to be a little bit of a longer video because it's like a vlog this was on you know on thanksgiving day thanksgiving 2022 beautiful recipes easy recipes and most of i mean my favorite part is the recipes are absolutely flavorful they taste amazing and it's easy to do okay so come with me and i'm going to be sharing those recipes with you okay so it wasn't easy for me to put everything together and film and cook so let's go you are going to be happy so i usually i love making my uh, greens with um smoked turkey or smoked uh, neck bones uh, i didn't see any smoked meat this time i guess i went a little bit too late so i'm gonna be using fresh ones in the greens but it's going to be equally good okay it's just gonna it's going to miss that uh, smoked flavor but it's still going to be good i promise you and i'll show you what i'm going to do okay I'm, I'm about done uh, I'm about done with my chicken so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting inside I'll be putting some onions some green onions garlic stuff like that I'll show you in a minute but first we are going to be washing the chicken okay we have to wash it make sure it's uh washed really good and then we are going to start with the seasoning so now we are going to be washing the chicken okay we're gonna be washing our chicken really good we have to make sure we have to make sure the chicken is nice and clean and then we are going to start the seasoning So I have a large onion that I'm going to just dice and uh, so that I can, we will be putting it in the chicken. And remember what I have done to the chicken, I have uh, sliced each drumstick so that the flavor can penetrate even more or penetrate deeper. Okay. And um, so yeah, that's the diced uh, onion. And this is a large onion because I have about... Uh, 28 drumsticks and uh so i also have green onions and i'm going to be doing the same i'm going to be you know dicing them and putting them in the pot and when i washed my chicken the water you know the water that um is kind of uh it's coming from the chicken being washed is going to be enough to cook the chicken so i am not gonna be adding any water okay and uh the next ingredients that i'm going to have are uh celery stick and i have about five garlics and i have a an orange and red bell pepper and ginger root okay so i'm going to be shredding the ginger root and the garlic and everything is going in the pot with the chicken okay and um once i have my chicken on the stove i'm going to have it and i just added um like two bay leaves a little bit of nutmeg and i'm going to be adding salt as well these are my organic seasonings i don't put a lot of extra seasoning trust me it doesn't make your your food better it actually kills the flavor follow what i'm what i'm showing you and your food's going to be tasting like heaven i guarantee you 
so now that we have everything in the pot we are going to let boil for about 40 minutes on a low heat until the chicken is ready it takes about 40 minutes and once all the water is gone and we have the broth left we are going to extract the chicken and we are going to leave the broth because we are going to use it to fry our rice we're gonna have uh, chicken broth fried rice this is exactly what I'm talking about and I left about two chickens inside that I'm going to be mixing with the rice and this chicken we are going to be deep frying can you just imagine the taste of the rice in the in the chicken broth i'm telling you like it's amazing okay so we are going to be deep frying the chicken um until the chicken is golden you know until it looks like what you desire about uh golden okay and i'll show you at the end of the recipe okay so once our chicken is done frying we are going to be making a sauce for the chicken okay so i have some green bell pepper red and um orange bell pepper i put a little bit of like half of half of an onion and i'm going to be frying with um, olive oil okay and you can put about one coffee spoon of salt for the flavor we are going to be frying until everything is soft takes about seven to ten minutes okay when it looks like this then we are going to be pouring that on top of our deep fried chicken the taste is amazing okay for me when you cook your food has to be flavorful i mean if it doesn't taste at all forget you okay so this is full of flavor it's extremely flavorful and this is our chicken it's done okay look how beautiful this looks amazing all right guys so what you want to do is uh put rice of uh depending on the size of your family so put a you know a little bit of rice i believe i used about 16 ounces i don't really remember and put it on a low heat please very important and add water as you go i wanted to add a little bit of turmeric just for the color i wanted it to have a, a yellowish color add water periodically as you go and keep on stirring and mixing because you don't want it to burn and you are going to keep on doing that until the rice is soft just the way you like you can add butter i've added a stick of butter or a little bit of oil of your choice and um until the rice is ready the rice is ready and it's full of flavor if flavorful had a face this rice would be the face amazing for our neck bones it's going to be the same exact ingredients like the chicken except this time i have added uh, about four ounces of tomato sauce and uh, but everything else same exact ingredients and I did put a, um, about one to two cups of water because this one has to boil for about 45 minutes very important because it's pork so it has to definitely boil a lot and i always cover my oil dispenser and i did add a little bit of olive oil and after the pork had boiled for about 40 to 45 minutes i've added my greens my color green and let boil for an additional 25 to 30 minutes we have moved now to the yams or sweet potatoes yams so i'm going to peel them off and once peeled i'm going to be slicing them in uh, round roundly slicing them and once i do that i'm going to be deep frying my yams and uh, until it's soft it takes about seven to ten minutes once soft i'm going to show you uh, how to make this special sauce without sugar okay i don't like candied um yams uh, you can add brown sugar if you want but i don't like it because it's not particularly healthy okay and you don't always have to make it candied yam so what i'm going to do is 
take away about five of the fried yams, put them in a blender with some garlics, okay? And I'm going to blend them together. And then I'm going to be frying them with butter. As you can see, I put a little bit of butter. And once the butter melts, I'm going to be grabbing my blended yams and garlic. And I'm going to be frying them for a few minutes, okay? Until it's thick. And then I'll be dumping them on top of the yams. So much flavor, so much healthier. No sugar because naturally yams have sugar. So you don't necessarily need additional sugar. You know what I mean? And it's so flavorful, so good and so soft and just yummy. Autumn spice corn bread. We are going to be following the instructions from the box, but I'm going to be adding my extra touch. So I've done two eggs instead of one. Adding water, of course, and I'm going to be adding about uh, six ounces of powdered milk. I used Nido and I'm going to be adding vanilla, pure vanilla extract. Please don't use the fake one. We're going to mix all together and we are going to be baking um, at uh, 380 degrees for about 29 minutes. This is absolutely yummy it's amazing of course i have followed the instructions from the box but i've added my extra touch for extra taste okay and this is absolutely amazing the taste was unbelievable and so moist we're going to be enhancing flavor to store-bought meatballs by adding one coffee spoon of salt, some red and uh, yellow bell peppers, and I sliced some of the meatballs and I'm going to be adding half glass of water with um, tomato sauce, about 27 ounces, and I'm going to be cooking for about 10 minutes. Once it's thick, I'm going to be pouring on top of the meatballs. Okay, sorry the music and the loud noise in the background so i had to just do a voice over so i was pretty much excited how everything came out very very tasty so i was just kind of presenting <laughs> presenting the food and also my sisters and my brother basically my siblings were uh, also bringing their food okay because they had also cooked and along with my food, uh, I was just getting exci excited. So I was just bragging about how my table looked so simple, but yet so beautiful. And everything was super flavorful. Family time is everything. So you can see my sisters, they brought more food and uh, look how my food is almost gone. Okay. So yes, the food was extremely tasteful, extremely flavorful. So try those recipes and you are not going to be disappointed. And uh, we had fun. We laughed, you know, we told jokes. Family is super precious, okay? So oh, always cherish family time. A little bonus video for you. I'm going to be sharing how you can enhance this jalapeno margarita by adding more jalapenos, fresh jalapenos inside. It's super tasty and it's absolutely amazing. And the way I'm doing it, you know, basically adding spice it up more because I want to taste that spiciness and anyone that I have done this drink for, they absolutely love it. Okay. So basically uh, what you can do is um, put some salt. Uh, if you have pink salt, that'll be even better. But if you don't have it, just regular salt. So you add uh, on a plate and you take some lemon and you put it so you can take the glass and um, 
put it in the salt and um, lemon so that you can have the the salt all around the glass and you can make it you know you can beautify it by adding those lemon slices on the glass and what i'm doing now i'm just slicing the jalapenos putting them in the glass so it's super spicy okay <laughs> super spicy and it's good but you have a choice if you don't chew on the jalapeno it's not super super spicy but you can still taste that spiciness a little bit so i've added my jalapenos in both glasses and i want to put ice i know some I, mean, I know the normal way of making margaritas you just shake the margarita you don't have to add ice uh, the margarita has to be chill but i love adding ice to my margarita and um, and not necessarily shake it so this is exactly what I'm doing. You know, I added some ice. I have jalapeno there and I'm going to be adding my margarita and I'm going to be sharing with my sister. Okay, we had, I have a big family. So they came over my house and we celebrated for Thanksgiving. And uh, I hope you liked the video. If you have liked the video, give me a thumbs up, share the video and uh, subscribe to the channel so that... Uh, I could, you know, continue to be motivated uh, to make more videos for you. So I absolutely showed you how you can enhance flavors to your food. Uh, because a lot of food, when you eat them, <laughs> they just, they lack flavor. And I can't stand it, okay? Your food has to be flavorful. And this is why I've showed you, even if you didn't have time to actually make something from scratch, you can still add flavor to it. Uh, this is my sister, Diane, and we are sharing the drink, and she absolutely loved it. I kind of muted the video because there is music on the background, because we were being very loud extremely loud so i've muted it it's better that way and um yes so you can always uh, add flavor to your food you can absolutely add flavor if you are a local in las vegas check out the wig knock of las vegas for all of your hair need for beautiful wigs uh, hair care and much much more you can see the wigs that we have uh, the wig that i have and the wig that my sister has so check out the wig knock of las vegas okay this is me i love changing all the time you know i can go from short hair to very long hair to afro to anything thanks for watching happy thanksgiving happy